cuties. Now put your hands up if you love Love Island. 150,000 fans have apparently applied to be contestants this season. So I'd estimate that includes about, what, like 25% of you lot? As steamy as the show can be this time around, ITV bosses are supposedly cracking down on the raunchy stuff. Boo! That's all I can say. I'm Shazza Carpenter, your Quiztastic Trivia lover, and this is HQ Trivia, the game where all that learning gets turned to sterling. Now, the rules to play are simple. I'm going to ask you a series of questions ranging from easy to hard. You have 10 seconds to tap the answer. If you get it correct, you move on. Answer all 12 right, and you win or you split the moolah. And today's prize is a heart pounding 550 pounds. You could rent your own villa in paradise for a day or so with that kind of cash sign up for a matchmaking service or just woo a hottie you already know but you've got to fill your wallet before you spill your wallet so let's get this show going with q1 which one of these movie stars was a professional wrestler shirley temple dwayne johnson meryl streep don't get put in the sleeper holes on this one it's too early for all of that well, neither Meryl or Shirley were wrestlers. Dame Judy was. Dame Judy bench press, that is. Mr. Duane himself, Dwayne Johnson, of course, used to be a wrestler. 79,747 of you rocking and rolling to the next round. The Rock was flying around WWE rings before action movie sets, and now he can add HQ trivia host to his CV. That's prestigious. Q2, which of these was adopted from the dots and dashes of Morse code, polka dance, Dalmatians, barcode. Hopefully you're not sending out the SOS signal right now. Dalmatians make great pets, but absolutely no sense as a form of communication. So clear, even a self-service machine can read it most of the time. Anyway, is barcode. Barcode for the win here on Q2, 67,907 of you with the right code here. First patented in 1952, barcodes turned stock taking from a slow groan into a speedy beep. Now it's shout out time, we see you out there players. Hi to Team Wolf's Park in Livingston. To Gwen, Toby, Liv, Paige, Izzy, Adam B, Adam V and Melissa heading back from their holiday. Hi to Harry, Elaine and Dia from Teesside and Sarah, Ferguson, Tilly and Tamar as well. Good luck to all of your players in the game, Q3. Which of these places are not located in the north of England? Scarborough, Blackpool, Hastings. I love the Northerners. They're so friendly. It has the largest beach-based fishing fleet in Europe and is located on the south coast of England. Still banging on about 1066 is Hastings. That's the place we're talking about here. 52,965 of you winning this battle here on Q3. If you're after stunning scenery, Hastings has plenty to look at, although arrow-proof eye protection is advised. Q4, which of these metals was the moniker for boxer Mike Tyson? Steel, iron, titanium. Who's gonna have the knockout win on this one? Hopefully you. He may have been a professional ear muncher, but those gnashes were 100% enamel, punching the creases out of people's faces. It's iron, iron, Mike Tyson, of course. That was quite brutal, but 31,683 of you delivering the knockout here. Tyson became the youngest ever heavyweight champion at the tender age of 20. Not so tender in his case, though. Q5. An estuary is where a river meets what? Canal, sea, lake. There's a little poem I know that can help with this. But I'm not going to tell you what it is. They've all shaken a river's hand, but which meeting leads to an estuary? The best mark I ever got in geography. It's a C. I'm just kidding, it's B+, plus, but C is your answer. 25,376 of you nailed that one. More useful 30 seconds ago than it is now. Where the river meets the sea is an estuary. It's a great way to remember this one for next time. Q6, which of these is not part of the TV show Have I Got News For You? Press cuttings round, odd one out round, missing words round. And I do have news 
for you, actually. They all look the part, but which of these rounds is strictly audio only, providing the lulls in Radio 4's news quiz? It's press cuttings round, not part of that TV show. And that was quite brutal there as well. Lost about 50% of you there. 12,590 of you there with a cutting win, though. The final round of Have I Got News For You may use press cuttings, but it's actually called the Missing Words round. Q7, which literary figure was not a member of the Ghost Club, W.B. Yeats, Oscar Wilde, Charles Dickens. Ooh, sounds scary. Who wasn't a member of this prestigious club? Three wicked writers, but who never took his spirits too seriously. Left out of the OG Ghostbusters is Oscar Wilde. Who's wild and out right now? That was quite a savage question right there, here on Q7. Yes, it was. About 9,000 players gone, 3,835 of you still busting through. Now, Dickens and Yates were both part of the Victorian Club, which set out to dispel charlatans and phony paranormal experts. Just the real ones, please. Q8. The vegetable known as a Swede originated as a cross between which two other vegetables? Turnip cabbage, turnip parsnip, turnip potato. Well, at least you know half the answer here. Stories of a Franken veg have circulated since the Middle Ages. Arriving on our shores in the 1800s is actually the tasty love child of the turnip and the cabbage. Yeah, cabbage is the other half. Absolutely savage question here on Q8. Sizzling sausages. 364 players left with us. Given protected status by the European Commission, every Cornish pasty legally has to contain some Swede. Well, somebody's getting arrested. Q9, which of these is not a type of marine animal? Potato worm, peanut worm, spaghetti worm. I'm not the biggest fan of worms. They'd all look at home on a bird food menu, but which plate would turn up empty? The wriggly charm you'll never find in a can of worms. It's the potato worm, because it doesn't exist. That's why 230 of you are wriggling your way towards that win. Now, there's a worm that looks like a sweet potato, but some genius decided to call it a spoon worm instead. Q10, which of these was not a feature of the world's first published newspaper crossword? Clues, black squares, diamond-shaped grid. Who was around for the first published newspaper crossword? Maybe you remember if you are. Even the greatest crossword detective needs some kind of clue to get started. Saving on ink, but at the cost of clarity, those black squares. That is the answer. They were not there in that first puzzle. 78 of you squared away another win there. It seems diamonds aren't forever as creator Arthur Wynn eventually changed the grid to the square shape we have now. Q11, the penultimate round. Which of these US presidents is not buried at their national cemetery by the Potomac River? William Taft, John F. Kennedy, Theodore Roosevelt. How well do you know your US presidents? And where they're buried. Arlington is the final resting place for over 400,000 servicemen and women. But which of these presidents is resting elsewhere? The one ghost in chief you won't be busting in Virginia, Theodore Roosevelt, for the win here on Q11. 26 of you got that right. Stay alive, guys, because we're moving on to that final round with 26 players left in the game. Another two players using their extra lives to get back in. 550 pounds sterling up for grabs right now. Who's going to take on the win? What was the first animation since 1953's Pizza Pan to be entered into competition at Cannes? Frozen, The Incredibles, Shrek. Big question right here. You'll have to let this one go if you chose Frozen because it didn't screen at the French Fest. Incredibly, neither did Pixar's superhero flick, smashing its way into the 2001 festival, leaving the others even greener than he is. Shrek, 
for the win here on Q12. And we have 10 winners, my lovelies. <laughs> Wicked win there by 10 of our players. Huge congratulations to you lot. You are taking home 55 pounds. Yes, you are. We've got Sheldon, 44. Nice looking couple right there. UJs are uh, also looking a little bit like Pitbull. Uh, we've got Pinguinus, uh, Owl Sick, and a bunch of other winners as well. Well done, guys. What are you gonna do with that cash? You could start off by getting some of those Swede pasties or Swedish pasties if you like. Maybe take a trip to Hastings with those arrow-proof eyewear just to be safe. Another fantastic game, HQZ5s. You came, you stayed, and oh my, you slayed. As always, hit me up on Twitter and Instagram right here. Let me know how you got on. Request your shout outs as well for later. And follow us at HQ Trivia UK for more off screen action. Join me back inside your screen at 9 pm tonight for another shot at 550 quid. Until then, winners enjoy your earnings, players enjoy your learnings. See you in a few. Bye.